In this video, we are going to discuss how we can get the excitation tables which play a major role in the design of sequential circuits. Let us consider the SR excitation table. This is a function table for SR uh, flip-flop and now we are going to get the excitation table for SR. So here we have to observe how to uh, get it. First case, Q of t and Q of t plus 1 both are 0 and q of t plus 1 equal to 0. So, these two cases we are supposed to consider. q of t plus 1 equal to q of t in this case and q of t plus 1 equal to 0 in this case. So, these two cases of function table we are supposed to consider and in these two cases we can observe that s is equal to 0 and r is 0 one time and 1 one time. So, we say that s is 0 and r as Denker condition. And the next case, let us consider q of 2 is equal to 0 and q of t plus 1 equal to 1. In this case, q of t plus 1 equal to 1 we are considering, but there is no other case where q of t plus 1 is complement of q of t. It is not there in the function table. So, we will consider only one case and so we will represent s as 1 and r as 0. Let us go for the next one. q of t plus 1 is 0 and q of t is 1. So, S is 0 and R is 1. And final case Q of T is equal to 1 and Q of T plus 1 is equal to 1. So again we will have two cases because both are equal and Q of T plus 1 equal to 1 here. So if you consider two cases S is uh, 0 and 1 in two different cases and R is always 0 in both the cases. So we will say uh, S is don't care and R is 0. This is how we get the SR excitation table. Similarly, let us consider JK excitation table. Let us consider the first case when both are 0, 0. That is Q of t is 0 and Q of t plus 1 is equal to 0 and Q of t plus 1 equal to 0. In such a case, these two cases will be considered J is 0 and K is don't care. And then if you see here, now there is a small variation when compared to the SR excitation table. Q of t is equal to 0 here and Q of t plus 1 is 1 and both are complement to each other. So, again two cases will be considered when Q of t plus 1 equal to 1 and both are complement to each other. That Q of t plus 1 equal to Q complement of t. So, J is 1 here and K becomes don't care. Similarly, when both are complement to each other and q of t plus 1 equal to 0. Here we are considering these cases which indicates j is uh, don't care and k is 1. And then both are 1 and uh, q of t plus 1 equal to 1. So here we are getting these two cases to be considered and j is don't care and k is 0. Like this we will get. Okay, This is the jk excitation table. And then comes D excitation table and a T flip flop excitation table. D function table is given like this. When D is 0, Q of T plus 1 equal to 0. D is 1, Q of T plus 1 equal to 1. So obviously it is very simple in order to get the uh, D excitation table actually. Whatever we have the Q of T plus 1 value we will give to D with irrespective of the value of Q of T here. So, when Q of t plus 1 is 0, d will be 0. When it is 1, d will be 1. And now coming to the t flip-flop excitation table. This is the function table for t flip-flop. t is 0 means both are equal. Q of t plus 1 equal to Q of t. And t equal to 1 means Q of t plus 1 is complement of Q of t. So, in, when we are getting the excitation table, when both Q of t and Q of t plus 1 are equal, either it is 0 or 1, t will be 0. So, here you can observe t is equal to 0 in both the cases and t is 1 when both are complement to each other. So, when q of t is 0 and q of t plus 1 equal to 1, t is equal to 1 and q of t is 1 and q of t plus 1 equal to 0 again t is 1. In this way, we can get the excitation table for d flip-flop and t flip-flop. Thank you.